Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastik Padasale. So currently we are discussing the answers for question that has been asked for gate Excel paper. So now we will be discussing the answers for geology paper. So which one of the following animal has book lung as a respiratory organ? The correct answer is option number B. Scorpion and spiders will be having a book lungs with them. Arachnids will be having a book lungs with them. As we take octopus and starfish, they will be having a gills as a respiratory organ. Okay. Next is which of the following statement describes the innate behavior of the animal? So the correct answer is option number C. A behavior that is determined by heredity is called as innate behavior which is inborn and it doesn't require any learning or prayer or experience. Next, which of the following represents a two ecological population? The correct answer is all lions in the reserve forest which is representing ecological population. Whereas if you take option A, it is representing individual. On option number B, it is representing community level. And option number C, that is leeches and the platform two different species they are speaking at species level but here they are asking ecological population which is all lions in the reserve forest okay next is which of the following animals show bottle cells during the gastrulation stage of development bottle cells you can find during the process of amphibian gastrulation process these are the first cell that will be engaging in a cellular movement during gastrulation and you can find this particular cell in a blastropore lip these cells are responsible for formation of invagination cup in amphibian gastrulation Next is organism that obtain energy from inorganic compound include lithotrophs. So, if you discuss, we had discussed in the revision series, if you know about the thing, it, you can easily answer for this particular question. Next is autotroph, which will be obtaining the energy from sunlight and organotroph, which will be obtaining the energy from organic compound. Next is phototroph, which will be obtaining the energy from uh, light. Okay. Next is uh, which of the following is or are the causative agent for filariasis. So if you refer the CDC website here they have given three uh, filarial nematodes are responsible for causing this lymphatic filariasis. First is Sucheria brancophi, next is Bergia malai and next is B. Timori. Although 90% of lymphatic filariasis are caused by Sucheria brancophi. So option A is correct and option C is also correct. It is a multiple select question. As option B is incorrect because Leishmania donovani is responsible for transmitting, uh, responsible for causing Leishmaniasis and Trypanosoma gambiensis is a protosoman which is responsible for causing sleeping signal disease. Okay. Next is an experiment. Excess amount of bicard mRNA more than a wild type expression level was injected in a posterior polar wild type drosophila embryo, the pre-bastoral muscle, out of which option, which one of the represent best expected phenotype in the researching development embryo. So option D is correct. Since in the wild type already, the bicard mRNA will be expressed at anterior portion. So in the anterior portion, you can be able to find a head structure. And now they are injecting excess amount of bicard, <coughs> sorry, bicard mRNA. <coughs> the posterior side so both in anterior side posterior side there will be head formation so there will be two head in the particular drosophila embryo next is regarding to hormone that is listed in column one and the chemical type listed in column two and the tissue of origin so glucagon it is a uh, peptide hormone which is produced from pancreas and pregnilone which is a uh, sugar hormone which is produced by adrenal gland and fs is follicle stimulating hormone is the glycoprotein which is produced by uh, anterior pituitary and melatonin which is a tryptophan derivative which is produced by the pineal gland next is regarding to syndrome and the uh, symptoms or cause. Paradigmally syndrome, it is a genetic disorder which is usually caused by deletion of part of chromosome number 15. And Down syndrome, which is a genetic disorder caused by presence of all or part of third copy of chromosome 21. And Cushing syndrome, it is a collection of signs or symptoms due to prolonged exposure to corticosteroid like cortisol. So for that particular syndrome, the excessive amount of cortisol will be secreted. Next is Turner syndrome, which is a genetic condition which a female will be having a partial or completely mixing, missing X chromosome. Next is Fanconi syndrome, where it is a syndrome where there is an inner Adequate reabsorption of proximal renal tubule of kidney. So the proximal renal tubule of kidney will not be reabsorbing the nutrient from the kidney and sending back to the blood. Instead, for those person, the nutrient will be excreted uh, through urine or it will be excreted as a waste. Okay. Next is an immunological statement of appropriate description. So, active acquired immunity there is direct contact with pathogen that enter the body. And first lines of defense that is a surface barrier. Next is passive natural immunity that is antibody passing from the mother to the baby through placenta. Second line of defense is generally carried out by complement protein and interferon. Okay. Next is cofactor and the enzyme copper. So, copper is a cofactor for cytochrome oxidase enzyme. Next is selenium. So, selenium is a cofactor for glutathione peroxidase enzyme. Next is nickel. So, nickel is a cofactor required for uh, the urease enzyme. Next is potassium. So, the potassium Potassium ions will be acting as a cofactor for pyruvate kinase. Last one is molybdenum, which will be acting as a cofactor for dinitrogenase. Already we had discussed in our revision series. So, if you watch the revision series, it will be definitely very much helpful. Next is presence of excess glucose has been known to prevent the induction of black operon as well as other operon controlling 
enzyme involving in carbohydrate metabolism in E. coli. Which of the following process defines a phenomenon? So, option A, catabolite repression is correct and option C, glucose effect is also correct. Because at that case, glucose will be repressing the synthesis of enzymes that are required for the uh, utilization of secondary sugar like lactose. So, both option A and option C are correct. Whereas, if you take option B, attenuation and option D, feedback inhibition, they will be controlling the amino acid metabolism of tryptophan. Okay. So, attenuation feedback inhibition will be controlling the amino acid metabolism whereas here they are asking about carbohydrate metabolism in E. coli it is controlled by catabolic repression and glucose effect. Okay. Next is which of the following technique is are used for determining the three dimensional structure of protein. This is again a repeated question. You can find the same question in the past gate examination. At the same time you can find this question in asking in CSR examination. So, Cryon electron microscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction. These are the three techniques that will be using for determining the three-dimensional structure of protein. Whereas circular dichroism, it is used for determining the two-dimensional structure of protein. Okay. Next is among the following statement, which of the following is true? Okay, true regarding the replication of uh, the DNA. Okay, so first option is that replication is bidirectional, conservative in nature. So here they didn't mention, they didn't speak about prokaryote replication or eukaryote replication. They had simply mentioned about replication. So option A is correct because in prokaryote you can be able to find the replication is conservative, whereas in eukaryotic it is semi-conservative. So option A is correct. Next statement is replication in eukaryote take place at multiple ORSI simultaneously. Of course, it will be occurring in multiple ORSI simultaneously will be occurring. Option B is also correct. Next is both and replicating this. Continuous manner. This option is wrong. Okay, and option D says that one stand replicate in continuous while other stand replicate in discontinuous manner. Option D is correct. So option A is correct. Option B is correct, and option D is correct. So if you want to change this option, you can give a clear cut explanation in the comment section so that it will be benefiting many group of students. Next is which of the following statement is our proof for call design. Okay, so first thing, this particular drug will be bind to a tubulin molecule and disrupt the assembly as well as polymerization of microtubules. Option A is correct. Next question is that it inhibit the crossover chromosome during my meiosis. I could be able to find any research article saying this particular drug inhibiting the crossing over of chromosome during meiosis. Uh, meiosis. So B option is wrong. And option C is also wrong because this causes in they don't have yet to be able to find any uh, paper saying that it is inhibiting the chromosome condensation during prophase because this particular drug will be blocking the growth of mitotic cell and it will be arresting the mitotic cell at the metaphase stage. So option number A and option number D is alone correct. Okay, so next we will be discussing the question for food technology. At the same time, we will be discussing the numerical answering type of question that has been asked in zoology and other thing in a separate video. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.